she's pregnant. Oh my god. What's up y'all? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Cookie and I'm so glad to have you here. Welcome to the fam. In today's video, we are going to do something a little bit different by the title. So today we are going to play a game and that is episode. I found this game like a couple of days ago and I thought it would be a fun activity to do so I thought why not I might as well film it and that is what brought us here. If you do want to see more of me please consider subscribing and if you do subscribe hit the post notification bell for all notifications so that you get notified of all my videos out. Without further ado let's get right into the video. Uh, what do we choose? Let's choose belly mine. Okay, you are the queen bee, and he is the jaded recluse. You never bother to know what happens when you promise him a makeover. Will Kai Rivermore manage to sneak his way into your heart? Sounds interesting. Let's try the one. Okay, let's do that. Belly mine, book one, chapter one. This story uses sound. Turn up your volume. Okay. Artist's note. You will get the chance to customize your characters. However, the descriptions within narrations will use the original designs. Okay. The story should be enjoyable regardless. So feel free to do whatever you are most comfortable with. So Sydney, what do you look like? Okay, let's start with a skin tone. This is perfect. Great. This is Kai. Okay, Sky, I'm gonna change your. So I think this is good. Yep, yeah, sound good. Okay. Wow, Kai, you look dashing. Thank you. Super dashing. One impulse. That's all it takes. Okay. Are you kidding me? Isn't it's a boyfriend or something? Ew. Screw you. I wanted to tell you earlier, said I just didn't know how. My hand hurts like hell. Why? I punch him in the stomach, I. What a crazy person. Let's get you eyes, you tiny psychopath. Oh my god. Like you just caught your boyfriend kissing someone else and you walk and then kiss him like by the box. We we need to stop. No. One impulse to lose everything. Just leave me the hell alone, please. She's pregnant. One impulse to change everything you know. To completely change you. But let's take a step back. Oh, so this is like a preview of the future. Like, I was starting to get confused and so now I get it. So this is like, so we are now going to, we are going to start a star. Like, shall we? Moon prep. Money prep. Boarding school for the gifted. And the rich, but mostly the rich. Some of us are accepted for our intelligence, sure. But most
most of us, the majority of us actually are accepted for other things like money or rather our parents' money. The more I let myself think about it, the more I have to come to terms with how bad it really is, this school. So I just don't think about it much. Even though it's terrible, how some students live the way they do like trash, like they don't deserve anything more than that. Sad. That, however, is not my concern. Aww. She got some really fat, really good fashion zens. I'm barely going to make it to class on time. Better test calls on to pick me up now. September 2016. Excuse me? Ignore them and they shoot. Excuse me, nerd. I've been standing in front of this door for a few minutes now, huffing, scowling, tapping the floor against my heel just loudly enough so the boy in front of me can catch a hint. I need to get into the classroom. I'm going to be late if I don't and I can't afford to be late. But he doesn't, and I don't have the time to let him either. Fucking head. M-O-V-E MOVE! Grow some manners, will you? Of course, it's Sydney Ellen then. Who the heck do you think you are, huh? Who says heck anymore? Why is he smiling? Take a picture, it will last longer. Please. Don't flatter yourself. And by the way, you can very easily walk around me, Sydney. How do you know me? She does realize we've been going to the same school for three years now, right? Stop staring at me, you freak! Watch your mouth. I know who you are because we've been in the same class for three years. Oh my god, Sydney, and you do not know him? Really? Sydney is confused. And I'm not effing staring at you, you deraged airhead. Not that I see much to stare at anyhow. Okay. Hell, maybe that was a bit much. That I will F him up. I will F you up for disrespecting my girl. So that's Colton. That's my boyfriend. Not again. This has become a common happening between Colton and me, the aggression. Never towards me, but often because of me. I lift my chin a few inches so Colton. Okay, you see the word is so long, so I'm just gonna try it to be like cold or something. So Colts can't move, can't feel me move, but also enough so that I can see the net in front of us. Surprisingly enough, he doesn't look afraid. Holt snares as his fist makes contact with the nest chest, but I feel all the wind knock out of me. Is he okay? I found myself not caring at all whether Colt catches my movements anymore because I just need to look at him, the other boy. He looks alright. His eyes were stuck and shut and his hands snaked his way through the spaces left between the buttons of his uniform like it's searching for something. But other than that, he seems alright. Thank God. Shit. That is until he finally brings his hand out. There's something on his fingers. 
lost. He looks absolutely terrified and and it makes me feel something. Guilt. That gorilla really had to punch my chest. No, I'm fine. Really, I'm alright. My stitches are fine, settled. Really, I'm totally fine. I'll talk to you later tonight, don't worry. I especially hate the people here. Can he just let me stay? What? Are you done yet? Are you done yet? Can study at home. When's the last time you've studied at home? How am I supposed to focus when you are sitting here in this little scary? Well, I can't argue with that, can I? Yeah, I don't really think you can. She wants to head to the cafe before class. What? You know exactly what I really want. Not again. I do. So, I'm not ready. Colton, my boyfriend of two years, has been pushing me to sleep with him constantly the last few months. I assumed he'd stop if I said no the first few times, but it's made him do just the opposite, act more frequently and with more conviction more entitlement like being with me for two years gives him some right to take my first time and the worst part I'm so afraid that I'll eventually convince myself he's right that I'll justify the things he wants as things he deserves because I'm too anxious for the confrontations we're 18 I swear it's not that bad really cold really Codes, I'm not ready. Whatever. No one will miss me if I just hang out here for a while. Oh my god, the glasses look really cute on him. Who the F else is here? Oh my god. That is my boyfriend. You like that, babe? Is it that? Uh-huh. Tell me about it. You have got to be kidding me. Why is he laughing? Wow. Kama is a bitch. The same damn bass. Morin, who was just a few hours ago trying to fight me for disrespecting his girl, is now disrespecting his girl. Ironic. Everything about these people is ironic. So uh, she honestly deserves it anyhow. Entitled bitch. No, oh, don't do that to me. Watch out, I'm throwing it towards you, Mason. I'll leave this class is almost over. Watch out! I'm guessing I hit him with the ball. <laughs> oh my god, I'm going to be in so much trouble. Uh, someone took the blame for me, thanks. She's running away. She can sure be a bitch. You can say that again. At least she's hot though. I'm hot. You want to chill with the attitude? 
no. No. I definitely don't want or have to, but I will. Mostly because our exam is going to stay in 10 minutes and I'm a little less prepared than I feel comfortable with. And because I can't afford to spare any of the time left to listen to Colt, Jones and Sydney, Ellington mindlessly banter about how they want to put it, me in my place. Listen, while I'm not trying to offend you or your entitled I really need to study for this exam. There's an exam today? Stop patronizing me. I'm not patronizing you. Listen, man. I'm not a man. I don't have the time to offend her again. What's it even on? If you don't know that much, no offense, but you're screwed. Whatever. I hate these girls. If I fail this exam, I could easily lose my scholarship. Maybe that wouldn't even be so bad. Are you talking to yourself? Yeah. You're really weird. I was pretty sure she'd call over her boyfriend or at least create a scene, but she didn't. Instead, she just rolls her eyes, hiss, hisses, and turns around to stare deeply into her phone. I don't think I've ever realized how violent staring can be. You think I would by I would you think I would have by now, but I haven't because the way have the way have her bodies of the chair balancing on the balls of her feet, how often and how vigorously she's sliding her thumbs across the screen, it all feels violent. Violent, chaotic, absolutely unstable. What's she doing? Whatever. You're not going to tattle on your boyfriend. I mean, tattle to your boyfriends are. I don't need codes to set you in your place, loser. Got nothing to say? Girls, as they use. I guess I did provoke her this time, though. I need to stop talking to him. He still has issues, though. Baby, come here. Colton is calling me. Ignore, ignore, ignore. Can you just go over there so he stops screeching? Ignore. Just ignore. Baby, seriously. I have to study. Sydney lets her phone fall to the decks and I wins at the thought of being so careless with something so expensive. I could never afford that behavior. I instinctively shake my head the way I often do when I have to confront just how large the gap between me and them is. And it's then that I notice what an old model her phone is, almost as old as mine. And it's then that I see that she wasn't texting or playing or purposely scrolling, she was studying. There are taps and taps open of notes, albeit really stupid looking notes written in pink pen with doodles on all the margins, but notes nonetheless. Why doesn't she just use a laptop or a book? Why a tiny phone? I'm embarrassed to admit that I want to think about it a little longer. By the moment I do, I'm snapped back with the realization that this exam is going to start in all but a few minutes and I have to study. I hate everyone. Why? Your third note on the fourth page is wrong. Let's confront him. Why does he need to peek on my phone? You were peeking on my phone? Don't do it again. A simple thank you. What's the this? Oh my gosh, she's totally right. I better not make the mistake on the exam. 
papers away, pens out. Yep. Clothes, we need to talk about it. I'm serious.